Hey guys, uh, I am back with a haul, just a little haul. I haven't found much lately, and uh, but I did find a few things today. Hopefully I will get some good stuff from the fabric store tonight, and I can update you then. Um, I haven't ran out to that DG that I get stuff at um, today. I did check there a couple days ago, and somebody else had already been there, which... Um, I've seen somebody go there, not seen them per se, but could tell that somebody been there only a few times. So, but it looks like they got a lot of goodies by the, um, mostly empty bags that they left in there. So I will go check that again later today. Their garbage gets dumped, um, tonight or tomorrow morning. And, uh, I do want to go check out there anyway, because, uh, there was a surprise penny list for that store. So I am going to go check and see. But I wanted to come on and show you guys uh, what I found. And uh, I found some of these socks, which I found about eight pair. Um, they're all like this American style. I um, found eight pair last week. And I didn't record or make a video because it was just a couple pairs of socks. But I ended up selling all eight pairs um, at my yard sale this past weekend. So, uh, actually, my first customer bought all eight pairs. <laughs> but there's uh, three of this pack of this kind they say go tokyo 2020 they were 4.99 and they're like the long uh sock and these i will be keeping for myself because i love the style socks they go good with uh, the cute little shoes like i have on right here you can't tell that i have socks on so but these are just a little pair of socks they're say usa and these were also 4.99 which is crazy five dollars for one pair of socks and then this last pair I need to wash, they uh, were in with a bottle of Gatorade, which was open, and so they have blue Gatorade on them, so I will see if it can wash out, and then I will probably uh, be donating all of these, except for the two pair here. And then the last thing I found at the fabric store, which is kind of odd that I was finding things at that store without it being Tuesday, I'm not sure these were like in the bottom of a bag uh luckily i picked up that bag just to see because sometimes they hide stuff in with the packaging and stuff and i picked it up and these were on the bottom of the bag and then these flowers were in with a uh, broken vase somebody must have set it up and broke it i'm not sure you can see some of the all the leaves are gone off of them so that was all i found at the fabric store and then uh, i did check a different dg and this bag of dog food was in there. The top was open, so I threw it away. And this is actually from another different DG. It's supposed to, this little piece, and then this is supposed to sit on top. But, um, as you can see right here, it's busted, which I actually don't really care for it on top there. I'd rather it be down in here like this. I can put one of these candles, which I got these at the B.L. They're called Blood Orange. And they smell so good. They're like a, a citrusy, but not really like citrusy. I don't know. They're like sweet, a sweet citrus. So, and that'll be cute in there. And I got two of those. The caps were broken on them. And there was some uh, like broken jars of uh, um, jelly or something in there too. So I got sticky. Actually, my shirt is right there because I got jelly on it from carrying this bag of bird food which is the morning song deluxe bird food it's actually a really good brand of bird food it has a lot of these black sunflower seeds which my birds love so that's awesome because i need to refill my feeder I keep forgetting to do it and i think they're getting mad at me <laughs> but in the b.l there was also uh there was a four pack of these plates they have the bird food and the jelly on them but there was four pack of these two of them were broken and these two are perfectly fine so nice dinner plates they're like a ceramic and then there was some illegal dumping in there sorry about that there was some illegal dumping in there somebody got um, alarm systems and um, like the sensor lights and all sorts of stuff and they threw all of that uh, the boxes for it in the dumpster but these were in there and these are um, a ring bridge so these allow the ring doorbell system to talk to other ring things like the um, lights and stuff like that and I looked it up and you can actually sell these on eBay I seen some selling on there for about $25 so 
I'll see about that. I actually have a friend that has the ring doorbell system, so I'll see if he wants them first. But they come, either way, they come with uh, three chargers. They're all like uh, the older style phone chargers, which uh, my kids use for their PlayStation controllers. So there was two orange and then that white one in there. And then that's the mounting bracket for the ring bridge. So and that was all that I found at B.L. Um, when I checked that DG the other day, I seen this purse hanging out the Goodwill dumpster, which I normally don't dive at. I've heard people say that you can get in big trouble. I have seen employees out there while I'm diving at the DG, and they don't seem to care. Actually, most of the time they go in and close the door, like, saying, hey, we won't look. <laughs> but I thought it was really cute, and it looks brand new, but I see why they threw it away. This zipper here has come um, stitched from there. I've never sewn a zipper before. I could maybe hand stitch it. I'm not sure. So I might end up going back in the dumpster. <laughs> and then, oh, with that illegal dumping, they had got new lights, like I said. And I grabbed this one out of there because it is better than the one I have on my uh, by my front door. And I don't have a lot of space for a big light by my front door. So I thought I can have my hubby test this one out. I'm sure it works. And hang it up. And it'll be cute. So... Oh, and then I went and checked the uh, office supply dumpster again. It still has all them calendars in there. Like I said, this dumpster gets dumped once every two weeks. But this chair was in there, and you can see they sliced it everywhere. But um, this is what it's supposed to look like. It's a Kathy Ireland. And it has, you can see it still was in the package. Um... I don't have I do have a set of screws that I found when I got that desk which speaking of that desk I got a hold of the company and they're sending me new screws and hardware they said it may take a couple weeks because there's delays but they are gonna send me that so I can put my desk together <laughs> and I have wheels um, put up from when I found a few chairs before they were all sliced and stuff I grabbed the packs of wheels out of there and like I said I found the um, a pack of screws when I was digging through for all them calendars and all the pieces of the desk parts. But anyway, for this chair, the reason I grabbed it is, um, let's see if I can show you. You can see right here is a zipper. Looks like it comes off. And I am going to see if I can, let's see the back's nice, but I'm going to see if I can try to make a cover for it or a new, you know, cushion cover. I was looking to see, since it has a zipper, if maybe they sell just the covers but I didn't see anything like that but yeah this was in there the box was in there and everything and you can see it hadn't been out of the package but um, I actually grabbed all this stuff a couple days ago and I thought I got to thinking that I could make a cover so I said well if it's still there today I'll grab it so I reached in I grabbed it and when I went to put it in the truck I seen a bunch of wasps and one stung me on my side and I am pretty allergic to them uh, I swell pretty bad. I only have to worry if I get stung in the chest, neck, or head. Because um, then it could cut off my airway, which this one stung me in my hip. So hopefully I will just swell and look a little silly for about a week or two. And it will go away. But I will be keeping an eye on it. And uh, if anything starts to happen, I will make my way up to the ER. But um, so far I haven't had any issues like that every time I've been stung, which is only a handful of times. But uh, I do know from past experience, I've been stung on my foot, and I've been stung on my hand, and they swelled so big that it looked like my skin was going to tear. <laughs> so I tried to stay away from them. I will be keeping my distance from that dumpster, um, and probably taking a can of bee spray with me if I do see anything good. <laughs> so, but yep, this is my haul for today, um, and I will be back on if I find anything more. Uh, today from the DG or the fabric store dumpster so but thank you guys for watching and uh, as always if you liked it hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and share it with your friends and family who may like it um, I my subscriber numbers are going up I'm almost to 250 and like I said once I hit 500 I will do a giveaway uh, for a mystery box so uh, Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate it. See you later. Bye.